All right, guys. So a lot of people have been asking me about doing a tour of 3B video. So I put together this little video to show you all inside of the store. Now inside, we've got my three Scream Factory posters from the pre-orders. And here we have some of my uh, Spencer's Gifts figures right next to the adults only section. Obviously the super cool arcade one-up Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet that was made possible by the Patreons and Mr. Remix one-up himself. Thank God for you guys because <laughs> it looks amazing in there. And here is uh, my staff picks section of VHS tapes and other movies but you see the Charleston Chews the VHS head cleaner, my Ninja Turtle figures, some Batman and Robin figures, and my Jason Voorhees tombstone. And here's a bunch of the figures that are in the middle aisle, from Godzilla to Michael Myers to tons of my Friday the 13th NECA stuff, because I am the biggest Friday the 13th fan of all fucking time. Now here's a bunch of my horror VHS. These are actually alphabetized, but the rest of the VHS are not alphabetized. Just the horror because, you know, that's my bread and butter and that's what I've gotten to so far because I'm always getting in new VHS tapes. People are handing me stuff and uh, bringing me stuff or mailing me stuff and I just haven't got to the rest of them. So you see some really interesting stuff like my A&E serial killer documentaries and then down here on these bottom two shelves uh, since there were no more VHS tapes to put in there I just threw up some Xbox games for now and now here we're in the other movie section of VHS tapes this is action, so right now I just have them by actor. And uh, a little section of wrestling. I don't have nearly as much as Evil, but it'll get there. My Indiana Jones movies, the Batman movies, Surviving the Game, Pump Up the Volume, all things that I really, really like. My Ninja Turtle movies, because... Uh, Turtle Power, Forever, Harry and the Hendersons, the HBO Mike Tyson movie, which is fucking fantastic. And down here we have a couple of odds and ends, like E.T., Robocop 2, Muppet Family Christmas, which apparently is out of print and tough to find. I don't know. Ernest Goes to Jail, some Three Stooges Love, my Crocodile Dundee movies, Mac and Me, Fuck Yeah!, there's the club member card for 3B video and my staff ID, my memberships binder, the gumball machine, and the infamous get a pink gumball, win one free rental, and a bunch of odds and ends, loose trading card packs in there. Some uh, Fangorias, including my autographed CJ Graham Fangoria. Batman Returns cards and some books of mine that are personal favorites like Bad Blood, uh, Big Book of Slashers, and my Kane Hodder autographed Unmasked book. And my Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 soundtrack on cassettes, my Halloween 4 and Halloween 2018 soundtracks, Freddy's Dead soundtrack, Last Action Hero, all kinds of just fun stuff inside the cabinet um, that will be getting revamped soon VHS Mikey sticker and the custom VHS Mikey artwork he did for evil evil Fred supporting all of our buddies here with the uh, Paul Bearer press and horrors hallowed grounds Sean Clark for life James Balsamo's the lich odds and ends of my horror comics, as well as my Fright Flicks trading cards, uh, the entire set. 
and all the stickers up front and this awesome they live that my wife painted for me on the wall and a bunch of NECA boxes so it looks like uh, looks like you can come in and purchase those but don't because they're mine <laughs> Then down here we have the Tom Atkins action figure, the Hare Krishna zombie, and behind that some Mezits, uh, Army of Darkness figures, as well as a handful of plushies over here, Freddy, Leatherface, and of course, my man Jason. And then behind that we have my Ride and Joy, my Slaughter High poster that I got from my buddy Mike Reeb at Old School Video. Uh, good looking out. Totally hooked me up with that. It's like my all-time favorite slasher. And then here hanging up we have some random 3D video merch with the club member, the Rent VHS or Die, a t-shirt with my face on it, a t-shirt with Evil's face on it, and the Halloween 4 reference, cops do it by the book, because why not? And the local newspaper that did an article on me. Taking a look at the action and comedy section. There's more action to the left on the very bottom. But, uh, man, I'm running out of room. As you can see, Balls of Fury sitting up there because it doesn't have space. A lot of odds and ends. Um, I need more room. There's very bad things sticking up on the top. And the special interest section with all my UFC and all my hip-hop documentaries and all of that stuff. Lots and lots of movies. Really need a TV section because you can see Lost there. Smallville there. And then in this section of my staff picks is all of my autographed films. All autographed to me by one or multiple cast members or directors of these films. Done one video on some of my autographs, but I'm about due to do another one. I probably will after Crypticon this year because there'll be much more added to it. But Odds and End Friday the 13th films, Frighteners, uh, Halloween films, and Hatchet films. All the stuff that I really, really care about uh, gets signed and displayed. Although I've got some work to do on the display. But there you see my Holliston, Season 1, Season 2, House of the Witch Doctor, my good buddy Chaz DeMoss made that movie. That invaluable documentary is one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and do that. Killer Waves, my buddy James Balsamo. Uh, lots of good stuff. Joe Lynch's Mayhem, one of the best movies ever made. A couple of horror docs, Night of the Demons, and that super hard to find Twilight Time of Night of the Living Dead. Jill Six. Uh, short film The Stylist, which is actually getting turned into a feature film as we speak. They Live is another one of my all-time favorites. Trick or Treat as well. I'll fight anyone who doesn't like Trick or Treat. Some Charlie Band goodness, some Unlucky Charms, Vampires, Without Warning, Graydon Clark for Life, and Wrong Turn 2, again, signed by Joe Lynch. And now here... This is usually what everybody wants to see, is the horror section, which takes up the majority of the video store. As you can see, um, everything on that wall is horror except for the bottom uh, row, which is action films. And the reason that there's space at the beginning of those two rows is so I have room to slide stuff down when I get new movies. So then I kind of go through these and let you take a look at titles. Apologies if I'm moving too quickly, but uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to cover in the damn video store. 
And if you see these random ones with the white spines that just have like written letters on them, nine times out of 10, they are movies that were picked up that had damaged artwork or no artwork whatsoever. But there are rare occasions where they were movies that were given to me, um, burned onto disc, which I'm in the process of replacing. I know that's like the big collector faux pas. Um, and also, I catch a lot of shit because my Blu-rays and 4Ks are mixed in with my DVDs, which is not aesthetically pleasing. For some people, I'm aware. It made the most sense to me to put everything, once I broke everything into genres, to kind of lump them all together, because I couldn't do genres and then format, because I just don't have the room. So, unfortunately, that's the way it's gotta be for now. But eventually, when we tear out another wall and we extend the video store, I will be able to break these down into even more categories, because right now, the only categories that are on display are horror, action, and comedy. And then there's my staff picks with my autographs. So, a lot of weird stuff gets lumped into those categories because... I just don't have the room for a drama section. The only thing that's bad about breaking the movies apart and having a staff picks section where things are autographed is I can't have all of my movies together. So you see some of my Friday the 13th aren't with the rest of them. And it can be confusing when people come into the video store and they're like, where is Friday the 13th part one or two? And you have to be like, they're in the aisle because they're signed. Even before the video store was built, I made that conscious decision to face out my autographed copies to kind of give it that video store look. How, you know, sometimes you would go to a video store and there would be random movies faced out just to kind of entice you. So even before we built the video store, I was sort of thinking in that video store um, mindset. But now that it's all built, I realized I didn't have enough room <laughs> to face them out on that shelf. So I had to use a middle shelf to face them out. Um, I'm sure that down the road there will be reconfiguring and things like that to make the video store um, a little easier to navigate I suppose and so here we're passing the Halloween movies and my hatchet flicks um, but yeah we're working on making it so the video store is uh, easier to walk around in and looks more like the mom-and-pop video stores that you remember the issue is the space. So once that wall gets torn out, we can address the situation and we can make the room a little bit bigger because I have about 40 more feet of basement that I haven't been able to tap into yet. So fingers crossed that in, within the next year or so, we knock down a wall and we take the store further. Now we're in the M's, good old muck. People ask me all the time about what's like the worst movie I've ever seen and I have a hard time telling people because I feel like everyone should give a movie a fair shake but Muck is probably one of those movies that is just like such a letdown in every way and I feel terrible about that because I wanted to love it. Trust me, Evil and I both wanted to love that movie. Um, now we're in the peas. see Popcorn which is one of my all time favorite flicks. And not very many cues, <laughs> which I I don't know. Are there other cue horror films? Let me know, because I don't have very many. Rope, that's another one of my all-time favorite films. And then we're about to get into the Saw section. As you'll see right here, I have multiple copies of Saw 1 and Saw 2. Because I went through a phase where every time they would put out a slightly different cover art, I would pick it up. Um, because I 
I was weird. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. Um, and you'll notice that some films are missing from my catalog. Uh, and I, I'm trying to fill those holes. Slowly but surely. Because um, you only have so much time and so much money and all of that stuff. But it's coming along. My Tales from the Crypt Season 4. Uh, with the damaged box, so I had to put it in three separate cases, which bothers me to no end. But, of course, that is the hardest season to find, standalone, so I can't just get the box. All my Twilight Zone stuff, I'm a big, big mark for Twilight Zone. I need to go pick up Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone, because it, by the time this video drops, it will have come out. Uh, my Walking Dead seasons, which I am missing many, many, because I sort of fell out of Walking Dead, but we're rapidly approaching the Z's in horror. And there you have it. Now we're going down into action. Um, and again, you'll start seeing things that you're like, oh, that's not really action. I'm not sure why that's there. And that's because I don't have a drama section. Um, I don't have a TV series section. A lot of weird stuff goes into categories when you're just trying to make them fit. And apologies again if I'm going too fast or the camera is really wonky. Uh, it's a tight aisle and that's very low to the ground. Should have bought a dolly <laughs> so you guys could uh, not have to deal with my shaky ass hands. But... Um, yeah, you know, I mean, the channel is primarily horror, but we're branching out of that because we are not just horror fans. We love everything. We're big uh, 80s action fans. Um, I mean, how can you not be? So, of course, we have to talk about that stuff at some point. And here is uh, a view of the whole store. A lot of people always tell me it looks a lot bigger on camera and... I hope so. We're doing our job, but there you have it, guys. That is 3B video at the moment, so thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it.